And hello from one of the great venues in world football, the San Siro in the city of Milan. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. We've got action from the round of 16 in the Champions League to bring you. It's Inter against Borussia Dortmund. Well, down to the last 16 teams, Derek, the cream normally starts to rise to the top at this stage. Big teams will start to show their hands, but I'm sure there'll still be a few upsets. At the Inter team, Samir Handanovic gets the nod in goal. Alexander Kolarov starts with Milan Striniar in central defence. Christian Eriksen plays alongside Rajan Nainggolan in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side. Roman Gürki begins in goal. Lukas Piszczek plays with Nico Schulz in the fullback positions. Emre Can plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And now this Champions League round of 16 first leg begins. Marco Reus. A real opening now. It's got to be. In it goes. The goal for 1-0. And that changes the dynamic. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. We've been waiting to see if this might become official. It is official now. Sergio Busquets has completed his move to Manchester City, Lee. Yeah, it's an exciting transfer, isn't it, Derek? I think he'll add a lot of quality. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. It's Borussia Dortmund facing Hoffenheim. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. Marco Well, let's see that again. Oh, it's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. And so it is full time. The referee brings an end to the proceedings, and it is a story of Borussia Dortmund in charge of this tie. Still, they have work to do as they try to finish the job in the return leg. Well, going into a first leg, you take a lead before a ball is kicked. They've got that lead. Can they keep it in the second leg? Really delicately poise this one. Good evening, everyone. We're at the home of the Schwarzgelben, as they're known here in Germany, Borussia Dortmund, and what a venue this is. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And it's the Champions League round of 16 second leg. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Inter. Thanks, Derek. Borussia Dortmund just getting their noses in front after that first leg. I thought they played really, really well, but if they concede an early goal, could be very, very interesting this game. This is the lineup for Dortmund. 
Roman Burki gets the nod and goal. Dan Axel Zagadou starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And a look at the Inter team. Samir Handanovic begins between the posts. Alexander Komarov starts with Milan Skriniar in central defence. Raja Golan plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of the pitch. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And now this Champions League round of 16 second leg is underway. Lukaku. Lukaku! cause level on aggregate but trailing on away goals they need another well here's the replay the timing of the run gets him behind the defenders and the pressure comes as he knew it would but it's the strength that impresses me it's a great goal in the end Manuel Akanji. Torgan Azar. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. And that takes a cross into the centre. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Let's have a look at that again. All defenders look away. Nobody likes to see this. It's poor, you have to say, but it's important now that he puts his head back on and starts to concentrate on the rest of the game. That's the end of the contest, and Borussia Dortmund have progressed. Well, how close can two teams get? Really, really cracking tie. I think the midfield area is really important over the two legs. Holding your nerve as well, they've done that today, and they've gone through, and they'll have growing confidence.